What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. So you know how I get down, right? Whether a company pays me for it, whether they send it to me, I'm going to tell you how it is. And if there is a flaw or there's something that I don't like, I'm going to put it on the table. So, Lost Vape Hyperion DNA 100. See, this might be the first mass-produced company to make a DNA 100C. Matter of fact, I think it is. Now, it's not the first mod to do the DNA 100C. Uh, I, it, you'd be real hard-pressed to tell. I think it would have to be Ginger Vapor Boxer DNA 100C. Not a huge fan. It's 3D printed, but that doesn't make it a bad mod. It's just, well, I, I don't have it, so I can't really comment on it. But I do have a lot of 3D printed mods, but I'm not going to get too far into that. And then, of course, the Deception by Jay Hayes Designs, and now we have this. This is, but though, none of those are mass-produced, though. Just this one is, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And that's good that people are going to be able to experience this chip through Las Vegas. Now, this was called, and I'm sure that they don't want me to mention this, I think it was called the Scrotum. It looked like it said Scrotum, though, and they changed that real quick with some feedback on Instagram. It went from Scrotum to Scudum to Hyperion. No idea what any of those three mean, but it doesn't really matter because it's a Lost Fate product. But I, I could tell you without even opening in this up that there is going to be something that I'm not going to enjoy on this. You're fitting a bracket of a small amount of people that want to pay extra amount of money for a I don't want to call it a privilege, but a one-up, if you will. We're talking about a DNA 100C here instead of a DNA 75C. What's the difference? Not really a whole lot, right? Efficiency is essentially the same. The power is essentially the same. And not many people are going to use 75 watts on a single battery, let alone 100 watts on a single battery. But there is that cross-compatibility of a USB-C that people fucking love. And why they promote the charging through a board, like pass-through, I have no idea. Not a fan. But... That doesn't mean that this is a bad device. However, I have not even taken it out of the box yet to know this. I just know by looking at it that this has got something similar to the Aegis series. Before that, the Heat Vape Invader series, which was way before the Aegis, indestructible. So, I don't, the market, going back to what I was saying, DNA 100C, small market. High priced. And then you have rugged. So this is designed for the rugged construction worker that likes high-end chips. That market is going to be extremely slim. So without further ado, let me bring this down. Show everything inside of the box. Hopefully I like it. I hope it's not huge. That's going to be a huge turnoff for me. So without further ado, let's flip it. All right, what we're looking at is the Hyperion DNA 100C, and you can see that that's waterproof, and I think it's IP86, 68, 35, 68, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof on a DNA 100C. I, I get the idea of it, but I'm going to show you the Lost Vape Mirage on a side-by-side -side of this, and you're going to see what I really did enjoy and some of the flaws of that product after using it for an extent extensive amount of time. Guys, I use a Lost Fate Mirage at home. Uh, but again, I'm going to show you that when I open this up. So without further ado, there it is, the back side of the box. You got to scratch the sniff down here. Nope, that's not what that is. But let's just say in theory, if I do scratch this, if I do lick it, that's me licking it. It's all wet now. You can see that. I did, in fact, lick it and taste it. And it smells like body deodorant, but it tastes like vanilla cucumbers. Big fan of vanilla, not cucumbers, but let's open this up and let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, and then you'll see down there on the corner, it does say blue splatter. So you only get these in black. There is a gunmetal option, but apparently the only thing that changes is this little section here. Well, that's a cool looking box. That kind of reminds me of my seat on my RSQ8. That's cool looking. I can get down with that, even though you're just going to throw that away. The most durable DNA mod. I don't know if that's something worth. What is that? What is that? So we're just going to go ahead and put that back up. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll bring it back on top. All right. Back on top. All right, and we're back. It's fantastic. So, uh, so I'm just going to let my brain sink in that design real quick, because that looked like Rainbow Bright took a shit on the side of that. But, um, sure. Inside there, you're going to get a USB-C. Make sure you do not use this to charge your phone. This is a little adapter to use an 18650, and in fact, the user manual. There's not much differences between a DNA 75 and a DNA 100C. If you could get one to work, you could get them both to work. Hey! 
Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Thank you for watching this much of the video. And I figure instead of just plugging a random ass ad, I would plug myself. Now would be the time to check out patreon.com slash jhaze to join up and be part of the growing cult that I like to call hazers and what they also like to call themselves. Or you could just not do that and just continue to watch a video. But I figured that this would be the best time to plug it in. This is right there on the front. The most adorable. I mean, I did flip it up, but I had to switch up because that's large. Holy macaroni. I do want to, holy shit, I forgot that's a 21700, so I'm going to show you side-by-side -side comparison. Now, this is a fantastic product, very, very difficult to find DNA 75 with the curved screen, your little triple button. What happens with this, and I know this because I have been using it every day for the past five months, this little contact down here eventually goes in and becomes extremely difficult to actually grab that with or without nails like even now yeah i get it jay you chew on your nails well i chew on your asshole but that doesn't mean that i still finger fuck that right so that right there is it's it's extremely meticulous 21 700 21 700 and it's also vastly taller you see it side by side there you'll see that it's vastly thicker right and then down here on the bottom they got rid of this contact, and they gave me my favorite one of them all. So this right here is going to pop out. Somehow we're going to... Oh, underneath the nails. And, it's, uh, oh. and then this is going to unscrew. Guys, this reminds me of a Geek Vape. I, I got nothing but love for Lost Vape, but what is that? It would have been cooler if it wasn't glitter. I feel like I'm going to get that on my hands. And we all, we've all we all been to the club in the 90s, right? You try to hide from your girl that you weren't out fucking last night. Meanwhile, you got glitter all in your ass and on your feet. How'd you get that? I don't know. I don't know. There's your USB-C on the bottom. Mm. Uh, why? Why make it this thick? Why? Who cares whether it's shockproof? I would have much rather it be smaller than larger like this. Fire button here can support a very large RDA on the top. I'm going to assume 30 millimeter, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, even larger. 37 is not going to work. A 36, maybe 35. I mean, even a 30 millimeter. But again, keep in mind, guys, we're talking about a single battery mod. So it, it is large and in charge. And down there on the bottom, you have your positive connection. Get your little sleeve on the inside to stop that from grounding out. There is some battery venting. And contrary to popular belief, you shouldn't be too worried about that. Battery contact could have been finished up a little bit better. There's some fingerprints or some schmutz or schmoogles that's all over the place. And then over here is the uh, the Aegis. So it gives you an idea of the, of the size of what we're working with. This is large. Like... It's a it's a chunky meatball. Twenty one seven hundred. We're going to use a vape cell. Slide that right in. And the movement, not very much movement. And then this is going to screw a little, not necessarily crunchy. Okay. And let's see the theme. It's probably going to be the default one. One two three four five. No, it is not. Good job, Lost Vape. Huge, huge fucking shot out for making a custom theme. Don't quite understand what's going on, but that's all right. We'll figure that one out. I thought that was a button. It's not, though. I promise. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Okay, so the theme is not... It, it's kind of a stock theme, in a sense. You have your resistance up here. Battery power. Do love that. They kept that from the traditional theme. Up here is going to be your different themes. Canthal, Replay, Stainless Steel. So that that is still uh, the stock theme settings right there. And then on the bottom, atomizer display, battery, USB. Very good. I, I do like... Okay, I could get down with this. I do like the theme setting. They, they weren't lazy where they just... Wow. Puff info, live puff. Yeah, they, they... And what's happening is I keep trying to hit this as a down button because it feels like that. I don't, I don't think... 
I, 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 people are going to disagree. I don't think they should have added the USB. I, I, I get it. You're going to say, well, what about changing your own theme? I don't know. Maybe make it where you take the battery out and the USB is there since that's already sealed. How often are you really going to use that? And if you're using that to charge your mod, you're fucking wrong. Uh, the, there is a screen protector on that. So as much as this is uh, a protected mod, I am not a fan of this at all. As much as this is protected, so is the screen. So is the chip. So that's, that's good. That's very good. And we'll go back down here to about... Look at that. Great. I, I just did it again. Back. And we just hit the fire button. And we're back in the mix. Again, the theme is very attractive. So I do have to give them that. Uh, we'll talk about it more on the top about what could be changed. What could make this better. But this I can automatically tell you I do not like. So once again, that is the Hyperion DNA 100C by Lost Fape. Let's bring it back on top. All right. Back on top with uh, the Claire's Boutique or K Jewelers purse. Maybe a little bit of KB Toys. DNA 100C Hyperion by Lost Vape. Let's talk about it. Okay, I do like that too. I like the look. Like that looks nice. The theme, they did good. New coil, I love it. A little, little check mark. That's nice. I do like that legitimately. I'm not being a smart ass. 47 watts. Let's see, here we go. That's clearly not enough power. And that's totally saturated. Oh, you know what? All, oh, I, I do like this theme. I do Lost Vape. You did very, very good with the theme. I want to know how many digits this goes up to because this is attractive. I love what they did here. Fucking love it. In the center where the gear is. Do you see that? Let me, let me zoom in a little bit for you here. You might get some of my bottom lip. Look at what's in the center there. You see that? Watch this. Let, let me get you a little bit better here. You see that number? Watch this. Vape on with a period. That's nice. See how it's number three? Hit it again. Number four. I love, love, love that so much. Because it's like the hit count on the bottom. I'm subtle, but I'm not. It's like a transvestite. You look real nice until you see what's underneath the dress. The coil is way too saturated. Why? Why did you make it waterproof? Is it because you saw the sales of other mods that are also waterproof and said, you know what, we're going to do this too? Ah, I don't like that idea. Let me tell you why. If you would have made this same mod that I have in my hand, the Mirage with the DNA 100C and fixed that battery door, this would sell like crack. Better perspective. If you got lost faith, look, I know you might not be happy with this review. And I feel you. I do. Because if I was a company I heard this, well, it wouldn't bother me. I've seen people break my shit on video to prove a point that I was an asshole. I like the idea of the 100C. I like the idea of you making it a 21700. What I don't like is the battery contact on the bottom. I hate screw caps. I hate thick, bulbous mods. And there's a lot of people that are just like me. I get it. There's going to be that guy like, oh, I drop my mod all the time in the fucking puddle. When's the last time you dropped your pack of cigarettes in a pack of a puddle? That makes no fucking sense at all. But I'm going to run with that. When's the last time that you drank? Why are you drinking puddles? You don't have a faucet in your house. When's the last time that you've dropped a pack of cigarettes or your cigar in a puddle? Never. When's the last time you were working on a roof? And you're like, oh my God, I'm welding a truss. <laughs> Actually, I don't weld that. Uh, I'm, I'm hammering some plywood on the roof to lay some shingles. Oh, shit. There goes my new ports. Never. You know why? Because you're not on the fucking roof. So there's that. What market is this for? I don't understand. Lost faith. I cannot, I, I cannot stress to you enough here. I swear, dude, I bet my YouTube career on this. If you guys went back to this and sold this for 180, you would sell this for days. Look what happened with the Wismec RX Gen 3. Okay, now this is to you, Lost Faith. This battery door is a piece of shit. It can't even stay closed anymore. But I love the mod because it's small compact. You guys did that with DNAs. What happened? What makes you think that this... Test test me. T test me. Say, Jay, hey. That's not going to sell. 
Go ahead and make 500 of these. Make a thousand. That may sell better than this. Okay. Especially if this price point is the same as this. Get it? It's a DNA 60. I get it. I do. I understand. I still back that argument. When you guys made shit like this and like this all day. Nobody wants this. We've seen this style a thousand times. What did you do differently? You made it a DNA 100C. Good. Now, if someone does use this mod, like you're intending it to be used with this IP68, where they're going to drop it off of rooftops or they're delivering their ice cream in their tractor trailers and for some reason they drop it and run over it and the milk pours all over it and they drop it in their cereal bowl... How expensive is that going to be? <laughs> How expensive? Sorry about that. It's, my tongue gets afflicted. I think quicker than I speak. So as I'm trying to say what I'm saying, I'm already working on the next sentence. I'm trying to be one step ahead of you and myself. How expensive is that going to be to replace? And where are they going to send their milked up tractor trailer driven mod to? Ohio? Have them fix it and put a new chip in this. You were better off using a proprietary chip, but at that point, you would have just been like deepfake. So where did you get different? The chip. It's hard to not like this product because of the chip that's inside of this. But even this on the side is very reminiscent of deepfake, antivape, vubu. You pick your you pick your company, that's what it is. You guys separated yourself with the Centauras. The, the theory, Therion, amazing fucking beast. Go look at your sales of the Therion. People want that. They don't want this. Those are facts. And so therefore, I cannot give this a rating. But I'm sure you probably want one. You're just not going to like it. I would rate this a three or a four. Again, I'm sorry, Lost Vape. It's just the way that it is, man. I cannot... I understand you paid for this review. I understand you don't want me to be this raw. But guess what? No money is going to make me sell out. And this is my address to you to make it better. I challenge you to go back to your old ways and watch those sales go way up. Put that 100C in something like this. I'll even show you how to make this better. I don't even need to show you. You've already done it in the theory on. That front face plate with this design, you will sell those all day. Fix this battery cap. Fix this battery cap. I get it. You did this battery cap this way because, well, it just works. Just because something works doesn't mean it's good. And I've kept it real. So can you, Lost Vape. Jay Hazel.